Hi there, Fremont Community Church, Pastor Josh here. I wanted to do a quick video that would walk you through our 15 minute prayer, uh, Christ shaped prayer model um, of, you know, three minutes of Thanksgiving, three minutes of confession, three minutes of silence, three minutes of forgiveness and three minutes of request. And I'm going to utilize prayers from the prayer liturgy that I gave you a while back. Obviously you don't have to use those. But I thought if I made this video for you, that it would be easy for you to engage with the 15 minute prayer model. Maybe I can help you do that. Okay, here we go. We're going to begin with Thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all of your goodness and loving kindness to us. And to all whom you have made, we bless you for our creation our preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all of our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Father, I just want to thank you right now for the opportunity of coming before you and speaking directly to you, of entering into your throne room. As your word says, to enter your gates with thanksgiving, to enter your courts with praise. Lord, I want to begin that way today. So Lord, I thank you for this breath that I breathe because it is a gift from you. I thank you for the beats of my heart because each one is a gift of love from you to me. I thank you, Father, for my family, for my amazing wife, Rachel, for my wonderful children, Isaac, Aiden, Ian, and Lily. Lord, I thank you for them. They are so such a gift to me. Lord, I thank you for my church family. I thank you for the men and the women who have been mentors and leaders for me in my life. I thank you for the country that I live in, for the freedom that I enjoy. I thank you, Father, for most of all and above everything else, for the precious blood of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I thank you for the forgiveness of my sins. I thank you, Lord, that even though I am a sinner, that I have been declared righteous. I have been given the righteousness of Christ. I have become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I thank you, Lord, that you, even though I make mistake after mistake, that you restore me over and over and over again. Lord, I cannot thank you enough. You are better to me than I could possibly imagine. Lord, I thank you that I'm healthy in the midst of this crazy crisis. I thank you, Lord, that there is, uh, that there is nothing that I have needed that you have not given to me. I thank you for all of these things in the beautiful, awesome, holy name of Jesus. Amen. Now we move on to confession. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, in word, and indeed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name, we pray. Amen. Father, I confess that in these moments of crisis, Lord, that I tend to allow myself to be gripped by fear and allow my thoughts to run ahead of me. Lord, I confess that I don't always put my full trust in you. Lord, I confess that in moments when I should be spending time, uh, you know, you've given me some extra time with my family during this time. And I, Lord, I've lost my temper. Lord, I've been impatient. Lord, I, I confess that I have not leaned into your grace enough. 
Lord, I confess that uh, in the midst of these times of rest that I've, I've not really rested well. I've chosen to engage in things like, you know, uh, watching too much TV or sitting around and doing nothing when, Lord, there's more restful activity available to me. Lord, I confess that I have not prayed enough. I've not read my Bible enough. I've tried to stay faithful, but Lord, that's not easy for anyone to do, uh, me included. Lord, I confess that uh, I have harbored some ill feelings against people who have said things on the internet that, uh, that I didn't appreciate, or against people that have um, said things about uh, you know, political situations that I didn't appreciate. Father, I confess that in all of these ways, I've not leaned into your grace and uh, let your love flow through me. I confess that I have not, I have not uh, come to you, Holy Spirit, and asked you to fill me with strength and mercy and kindness. I confess, Lord, that there have been multiple situations where maybe I could have offered a word of grace, or maybe I could have been, uh, uh, I could have offered a, 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 a word of hope uh, when I've not done so. I confess, Lord, that there have been moments when, uh, in these last in these last 24 hours, Lord, when I just have not done the things that I knew I ought to do. So, Lord, I ask for your forgiveness. Lord, I trust in your mercy and your grace. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Now we'll spend three minutes in silence. Now we will spend three minutes in forgiving those who have sinned against us. Father, I pray for any who may have sinned against me, who have hurt me in any way, intentionally or unintentionally. Mm. Lord, 
do not hold this sin against them, for you are full of mercy and compassion for all. Please give me the grace to forgive so as to imitate your perfect love. Father, I forgive and release them. They owe me nothing. Forgive me for not loving them as you love them and enable me to see them as you do. Father, I ask you to show them the grace that I would ask for myself in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, I, I forgive my family members for uh, their grumpiness, for uh, giving over to uh, the, their cabin fever and their difficulty in the midst of this time. Lord, and maybe speaking to me or to each other in a manner that they shouldn't have. I forgive uh, for tempers that were lost. I forgive for words that were spoken that were not meant. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I forgive uh, political leaders for making decisions that I disagree with. Father, I forgive uh, people that are walking around and not not uh, practicing wise uh, activity in this time to keep everyone safe from this virus. Father, I forgive those who have panicked and who have made foolish decisions about hoarding things, etc. Father, I forgive anyone who may have exposed me to the virus or a family member to the virus. Father, I, I forgive... Uh, anyone else that I'm not thinking of right now, Lord, I just extend forgiveness to anyone who's hurt me in any way in the name of Jesus. I say I, I, I have no right to hold anything against anyone. So, Lord, I just release forgiveness in the name of Jesus. Father, I forgive foreign countries for hating this country. Father, I forgive uh, people who hate me because of who I am, because of, uh, of how I was born and who I, who I was born to be. Father, I just release forgiveness to all of them in the mighty name of Jesus. Now we're going to spend three minutes in request. I'm going to begin by praying the Lord's Prayer, the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now I'm going to pray the prayer of St. Francis of Assisi. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is in dying that we are born again to eternal life. Father, I lift up my wife, Rachel. Lord, I pray for strength and mercy for her in this time. As all as everybody's in the house and the kids are there and things are not normal. And Lord, I just lift her up to you. Lord, I pray that you would help her, God, to have the patience and the grace and the mercy that she needs in the midst of this crazy, crazy time. Lord, I pray that you would help me to be a great, uh, just a, a, a great spouse to her during this time. Lord, I pray that you would enable me, give me the grace, Lord, to, uh, to be a help to her and not a nuisance. <laughs> Lord, I pray that you would give me the grace, O oh God, 
to, uh, to, to see things that need to be done uh, without, uh, so that, you know, and to just do them, Lord, to, to make choices that make sense in this time. Lord, I pray that you would enable, uh, enable me, to, Lord, to be creative in how I love my wife and how I love my children during this time. And help me to be creative in how I love my church how I love my uh, my region in this time. Fill me, Holy Spirit, with your power, with your mercy, with your love for each of them. Lord, I pray for my children. Lord, I pray for Isaac. I lift him up. I bless him. Lord, I ask you to give him favor and wisdom. Lord, I pray that you would lead him to you. And Lord, I pray that you would be the only thing that satisfies his heart. Father, I pray for Aiden. Lord, I pray, I, I bless him. I pray that you would give him favor and wisdom. Lord, I pray that you would lead him deeply into you. And Lord, I pray that you would be the only thing that satisfies his heart. Father, I pray for Ian. Lord, I pray that I bless him in the name of Jesus. I pray that you would give him favor and wisdom. I pray that you would lead him to you. And I pray, Lord, that you would be the only thing that satisfies his heart. Lord, I pray for my daughter, Lily. Lord, I bless her in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you would give her favor and wisdom. Lord, I pray that you would lead her to you and that you would be the only thing that satisfies her heart. Mighty God, I pray for Fremont Community Church. Lord, I pray that you would continue to provide for the church. Lord, I pray that you would continue to enable me, give me the grace and the wisdom to lead this church well. Lord, to lead it further into you, O oh God, with the help of the leadership team and the elders. Lord, I pray that we would, as a team, that we would make great decisions and that we would think of ways and hear from your Holy Spirit ways that we as a church can be a blessing to each other and to our community in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I pray right now for anybody that's watching this video. Lord, I bless them to pray. I bless them with the grace of intercession and prayer. I, 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 I pray that the grace of the Holy Spirit would fill them up, that they would be prayer warriors and that it would not be difficult for them to find a way to be constant in the place of prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. Well, thank you for joining me. I may have taken longer than three minutes on that last part. Obviously, you can take more than three minutes on any of these parts, but I want to encourage you to take three minutes for each one of these pieces of prayer that we've been talking about. Thanksgiving, confession, silence, forgiveness, and request. God bless you. Have an amazing day in the Lord.